Taylor Miller, reporting live from News Station 4354 with a special edition on Common Core. According to NPR, the U.S. ranks 36 in math, science, and reading scores out of all the developed nations in the world. The U.S. Department of Education is coming up with a solution to this low ranking by trying to implement the new educational program known as Common Core. We sent a reporter live in Blacksburg to see what the community thinks about Common Core. We are here outside the home of a Blacksburg resident hoping to hear about their thoughts on Common Core. Hi, this is Taylor from News Station 4354. What are your thoughts on Common Core? Um, I don't, I don't know what Common Core is. What are your thoughts on Common Core? I honestly have no idea what that is. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what it is, but it sounds good. Thank you, Taylor. Today in the studio, we have an expert on Common Core. Welcome, Emily. Thank you. It's good to be here. So tell me, what exactly is Common Core? Well, Common Core is a new set of federal educational standards that are being implemented in 47 states and territories thus far. Awesome. So what does is, what is Common Core aim to do in our education system today? Well, Common Core aims to ensure that after graduation, students are able to compete and thrive in the real world. Um, and they do this by going deeper in a fewer topics, um, topics that students will need after graduation, in order to master the material instead of just memorize it. Awesome. Now we're going to head out into the community to see what a couple families in the New River Valley might think about Common Core. We're here at the Riveter household, hoping to talk to Rosie, mother of three, about how Common Core may impact her family. Hi Rosie, I'm Hi. Taylor from News Station 4354. Tell me a little bit about how Common Core may impact your military family. Well, as a military family, we move around all the time, and so my kids just fall behind every time we move because all the schools have different standards. And so now that Common Core is going to be implemented, I think it will help my kids in school a lot because all the schools will have the same standards and so they won't fall behind every time we move. And that will be less stressful on our family if our kids can do well in school. Thank you, Rosie. We are here at the Byers household hoping to talk to Bobby Jo about how Common Core may impact her family. Hi, Bobby Jo. I'm Taylor from News Station 4354. Tell me a little bit about how Common Core may impact your family. Well, a lot of my, I have five children, and a lot of my children already struggle from um, the schoolwork that they already have, and I'm afraid that Common Core is going to raise the standards and um, the expectations for my children, and I'm afraid that they aren't going to be able to do as well. And I'm a single mother, and I can't provide the same resources that other parents can provide for their children. I'm also afraid that it's just going to become a continuous cycle in my family and that the children are going to just grow up and not be able to graduate college or high school even. Back to you, Taylor. Today in the studio we have Carmen, a teacher from Price's Fork Elementary School, who's going to give us a teacher's viewpoint on Common Core. Yeah, so I think Common Core is a great idea. I think it's really hard to see the effects of what Common Core is going to be uh, doing in the future because every student is starting at a different level uh, when Common Core is implemented. So in order to see the effects of Common Core, you need to start from kindergartners and move them throughout the 13 years of the educational system because as of right now, everyone is at a different level. Um, and teachers will be able to know the education that they get pre in previous years and so they'll be able to start knowing uh, how kids are, or what kids are learning. And I think it's really hard though because students are going to be below the standard and kids are always going to be above the standard. So teachers have to be a little creative of how to uh, bring those students into the classroom and be able to teach the standard that they need to be taught. Um, so I think Common Core has a little bit of work to do on it. Um, and you're going to need to be creative in those aspects. And I think it's always hard to teach by a book um, instead of being able to let teachers do what they want to do. Thank you, Carmen. At this point, Virginia has SOLs, and these standards have been raised to compete with Common Core standards. Only time will tell which standards will benefit students more. This is Taylor Miller, signing off.